Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is January 21st, 2020. We're moving right along uh, after the new year, aren't we? It's amazing how fast time is flying. All right, you guys. So just a question for y'all. What did you guys think about all of the top 2019 cray cray comments? That were done last week. If you didn't see them, they're in my uh lineup that you can uh, take a look at they were um interesting ones but i have to admit that i left out a couple of categories i have about 200 more comments and they're either in a category that i would classify as um political which you know that i do not have politics on this channel in any way shape or form and never will um or they are what i would consider part of the fundamentalist uh, religious group. Um, I've had several people go all Jesus is a biscuit and is going to sop you up on me. So, you know, we <laughs> on a lot of those, um, I just simply do not, um, you know, I, I, I believe in religious freedom. Um, but when you begin to get insulting, um, and you refuse to look at actual facts, I'm pretty much done with you. And those are not ones that I put up because quite simply, it turns into an argument that this, this actual channel does not need to go that direction. So um, I wanted to let you know that I have a couple of new ones that I'm going to put up at the end of this video that you can take a look at that I think are quite hilarious. But before we do that, I have a Federal Trade Commission consumer information alert that has come out. It's ironic that this has come out now because as I'm doing the investigation on, um, on the uh, carrot bars uh, group, we are seeing more and more actually get shut down by the Federal Trade Commission. This happens to be a pyramid scheme that the FTC is in the process of shutting down called Success by Health. Now, if anybody that is listening to this knows anyone or is themselves involved with this group, this warning came out on the 16th of January, so it's only a few days old. Um, it's something that you need to pay attention to. They are in the process of shutting them down. There's a lawsuit that's been filed. Um, so an attorney actually directed this warning, um, and uh, the warning states, uh, earn unlimited income, quit your job, change your life. Do we have your attention? Good. Are you rolling your eyes? Even better. That means you've heard warnings about illegal pyramid schemes that masquerade as legal multi-level marketing businesses and promise life-changing income, but take your money instead. The FTC's latest case charging a company with operating a pyramid scheme concerns success by health or SBH, a venture that the FTC alleges has uh, built customers who joined its sales network as affiliates out of more than seven million dollars. Now we're going to go over here and take a look at the actual case. This is the uh, FTC acts to shut down success by health instant coffee pyramid scheme and um again this came out on the 16th this tells us and i'm just going to summarize it i'll have these links in the description for you guys to take a look at but basically what it boils down to is just like what i'm actually researching and investigating in carrot bars the um, promise of purchasing packages, so on and so forth, and becoming higher up on the pyramid, which they do not call a pyramid, but it actually is still a multi-level pyramid scheme. Um, many people had been submitting complaints with regards to it uh, because there's only a very, very small percentage, being 2%, by the way, of participating consumers that have received more money from the defendant, being the, the actual company success by health, than they paid out to them. And those lucky few averaged less than $250 a month, which is, of course, a far cry from the defendant's promises of financial freedom. 
Um, this gives you the filings. It gives you all kinds of information with regards to what the FTC is doing to shut these people down. It's important that you guys take a look at it and share it if you know anybody uh, that has potentially gotten involved in it. Um, they need to contact the FTC and see if there's going to be any kind of potential uh, payout with regards to this group. Now, the website still seems to be up, but in order to get into it, you have to be in, in connection with a party that is already a member, and they have to provide you with a referral key in order to get into the website. Isn't that convenient? So again, um, nobody has made virtually any money off of this. Only 2% of the people involved have made any kind of money whatsoever, and it's less than $250 a month. So you can see how these pyramid schemes are absolutely a concern. Again, the company's name is Success by Health. It is an instant coffee company. Uh, again, a multi-level pyramid scheme, something everyone needs to be aware of. The FTC is in the process of uh, shutting them down. So I just wanted to make sure you guys got this information. All right, moving along to our cray cray comments. Uh, these are just a couple of stragglers I've gotten over the last two days. I thought you guys would find funny. This cray cray comment is by somebody from yesterday named Ernest AEC Radio. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys read through it because it is just too stupid, to be honest with you. <laughs> After finding out that this is actually on my big long, uh, going over every kind of case, every kind of, you know, the fact that there's no proof of this whatsoever, of it ever working in court. Uh, it's a right to travel issue, of course. Uh, they repeat several times things that I've debunked over the years, and it's just too silly, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up here for you guys to read real quick. Um, and uh, once you're done reading that, I've got a couple more that I think will make you laugh. This comment came in over the comment came in over the weekend. <laughs> really interesting username. Username is Wiz Towers. Um, has an issue with regards to the statements that I've made pertaining to Winston Shroud, making all kinds of excuses for Winston, including the fact that he doesn't know law. Uh, in addition to the fact that he um, did not properly file his 1099. 1040V or 1096, and then claims that scary ass people like me let this scare you away without knowing the law. They try to do this, make an example of people, try to detour the people. So you agree that money is tangible tender when it's fictional and has no backing except for the labor of people. Now, interestingly enough, we're supposed to be the uneducated ones, but yet he doesn't actually understand economics in any way, shape, or form simply by making the statement that he made at the end here. It's not true. Um, our, our financial um, currency is backed by securities and investments. Um, as far as this comment about, um, <laughs> this is what I was talking about, about the actual religious comments, okay? Um, this channel deals in facts. And you guys all know that this channel deals in factual information. Um, I, I don't run this channel off of a belief. I don't run it off of an ideology. Um, 
it's either facts or nothing. And if I have nothing, I will not present it to you. Um, so I'm not going to get into religious arguments or blatant, blatant um, insults that are silly. Um, you know, if someone does not realize that making these sorts of statements are um, just incredibly wrong, um, and then projects it out to me as though I have made these statements or I am somehow uh, not not treating people with their proper rights. It's absolutely asinine and um, I have to move forward from there. So just so that you guys are aware, we've had a couple um, additional cray cray comments that I thought you would find interesting. I'm going to take you down to one more and explain that to you and then we'll move on from there. I always find these comments really interesting that go onto a video that is like two years old and then puts a comment and always makes mention of me somehow being some kind of government agent. You know, I don't know a lot of government agents that sit around and take pictures of their puppies <laughs> to show their subscribers, but hey, whatever. All right, so this started out on a TDA A for V um, video that I did with regards to April Lejeune and her, we'll call it, con artistry. <laughs> um, there was a comment that was left by Maya's music, and that was 10 months ago, by the way, that said, simple question, what is the collateral for the national debt? I actually went in to explain that the majority of the national debt is actually something that's owed back to us and as a result of that it's not collateralized however china and other countries that have a small portion of um of our debt um is backed by of course federal land ex ex and other and a few other things um that the person that you're looking at styles david i don't even know if this is this could be april herself for all i know um is the one who actually left the comment as you see 14 hours ago and it says lies you must be an agent i wonder what the big bro yusuf l over at high frequency radio would have to say about you well styles david i don't give a damn what yusuf l has to say about me because I don't care what scammers or con artists have to say. And anybody who rams down your throat the redemption theory that is nothing but a 40-year-old scam has to say is absolutely a scammer. So I could care less what Yusuf L has to say about me. If you really want to know, I'm certain that there's been something over the last several years. But honestly, I couldn't give two shits. All right, you guys, so those are the ones that are just from the last few days. I wanted to make sure that I got them out to you guys because these are not worth uh, anything. They're, they're not valuable to the channel. They're not, you know, these are the kind of comments that just simply are trolls that are just making idiots out of themselves. The attempt is to try to get a rise out of me, which never happens. These were laughable. Um, as a lot of them are, you know. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be coming back with another uh, video today with regards to a, a subject that I was asked some questions on. So there will be an extra video today. Um, you guys know that I'm still working on the, um, the database for the virgotriad.com website. Now here's the deal. I've had many of you actually email me and say, hey, is there a way I can help? That's a lot of information to put into a database uh, for one person to do. Yes, it actually is. But unfortunately, what's happening is as many people as I've had offer me help to enter in the actual data, I'm realizing there's no way for you guys to enter data without me writing out the data first. And if I'm going to do that, that I might as well just do it in the database. That is what's taking all of the time. That is the reason why it's not up and available yet because I have to get in four years worth of research in order to even catch up to where I can start putting in current information. This is a huge undertaking. It took three months for it to be built and set up properly. So there's an internal search along with an external search. It comes up in the in the Google search when it is that certain things are put into the search engine. 
huge undertaking, so be patient with me. I'm working on it and I'm going as fast as I can, along with a lot of other things that I've been asked to um, help with or do. Okay, so I'll be having a, I'll be putting up another video for you guys to see this morning, and I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, see you later. Bye bye.